All right, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to the Nitro Nick channel. I know it's been a really long time and I apologize for that, um, but I've just been in school and, you know, kind of living life. Um, there's not a lot to talk about at college with RC cars because I don't have them with me at school. So it's really hard to make videos about stuff. Um, but now I'm back home for spring break and I thought this would be a good opportunity to give you guys a little bit more content. So today in this episode, I figured we'd talk about some body modifications and just bodies in general. This is gonna pertain more towards the VTA guys as well as uh, the touring car guys about kind of tips and tricks to not only cut a body, um, but also in painting a body and um, just anything else that has to do with the body of these cars. So let's get into it. All right, so the first thing I wanna talk about kind of when cutting and trimming your body is you wanna make sure that all of these corners are rounded off because especially you know if you're racing on carpet like I am and most people are, then um, you don't want these edges to catch on the carpet because one, that's gonna destroy the carpet and the uh, owners of the track are really not gonna like you. And two, it's just gonna make your car obviously a lot slower. It's gonna look really bad. It's gonna ruin your body and um, it just, it's just bad overall. So definitely round off these edges when you're cutting uh, around all of the, um, I guess all the edges of the body really. All right, so tip number two, I didn't know this at first, but some guy at my local track really helped me out with it. Make sure your body will never touch the wheels. So what I'm talking about is um, basically when you push the body in like this, you do not want it to come in contact with the tire at all. So what this is gonna do for you is it's just gonna 100% uh, prevent any um, body tuck. And body tuck is when the body uh, does come in contact with the tire and kind of locks up the tire and wheel assembly so you can't go. So then you either have to run out there and grab your car and you know kind of undo it or so the marshal will undo it for you and put your car back on the track. But yeah, you wanna make sure your body never touches your wheel when it flexes like that. These bodies are very thin. This is a McAllister racing body, and especially the McAllister ones, but this is just for anybody. Um, they are very thin, and there are gonna, you know, there are gonna be instances where you're either you're bumping into someone or um, just the flex of the body itself going around the track is going to kind of like, you know, move in and out like this. And um, you just wanna make sure you prevent that body tuck by just cutting a little bit of extra material off of the wheel wells. So that is tip number two. All right, so I have the body upside down for you guys to check out the underside of this. So what I would recommend doing is when you're painting, always apply more paint than you think you need. As you can see right down here, I've had a lot of tire rub on this corner and I've actually gone all the way through the paint. And um, now it's you know obviously clear right there. And that you know, doesn't do anything bad for performance, but it just looks kind of bad. So what I would do is I would paint more than you need and also do a clear coat. I didn't do a clear coat on this body and it just makes it a little more crisp looking, I think, on the outside, and will also help protect your body against stuff like that. Also, yeah, you can see I even have it up front here. I think right there, it's gone all the way through as well. Um, so that's just something to look at and make sure that you know, you're kind of looking at with uh, your body when you're painting it. Also, as you can see, I've got a lot of like little marbles, little like dust uh, things in here from the track, so that's something you usually would want to clean out it, I'm not going to lie, it is hard to clean, especially after you've done a, lo a lot of runs with your body on. Um, it starts to really stick to itself and it gets pretty hard to remove. But uh, yeah, that's just kind of like a maintenance thing. It's not really that big of a deal. The next thing about painting I'd like to talk about is masking off the body. So I did something really stupid. I actually bought um, this stuff that was like, it was like paper sticker and you could like draw on it and then cut it out and it'd be like a sticker. And I would put that on the inside where, you know, I wanted the, the paint to show or whatever, really the gold parts. Um, so like the hood and the back deck lid. And that was a pain in the butt to take off. And uh, it really you know, took a long time and I don't suggest doing that at all. So I, this is really like one of the first bodies I've painted. So I don't have too much experience, although I do think it came out well. And I'll flip it over so you guys can you know, see it again. But something I would suggest doing is getting something called, I believe, liquid, liquid mask. So what you can do is you can literally draw on the underside of the body. You can draw in like all your little decals, your numbers, um, everything, and you can fill it in. So you're just kind of painting the underside of the body. 
Um, and then it dries in a film, so then you can paint around it, obviously. You can spray paint you know, around it or whatever, and then you can peel it off in, in layers. And it makes it way easier to paint and also a lot easier to do really intricate designs. Obviously, my design is pretty simple, um, and I kind of like that, but yeah, that makes it much easier to do way more intricate designs. So I would highly suggest checking that out and um, looking up like how to do that because like I said, it just makes it a lot easier and um, my way of doing it was definitely not the right way. All right guys, so that pretty much wraps up this quick video on how to kind of trim and detail one of these RC bodies. I hope it helped you out a little bit and uh, if you liked the video, please hit that like button and if you loved it, consider subscribing and I'll catch you guys in the next one.